everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amoria, and today I am sharing this Father's Day card because Father's Day is going to be here before we know it. And also, um, this could be a birthday card or, you know, for um, any, you can turn it into any kind of masculine card. But I'm using our new Wood Textures um, Designer Series Paper stack. So this is it. And it comes in all different colors and the wood grains. It's awesome. I love this. And it's going to be perfect for our new crate framelit that we have. It's going to make the cutest little crates. So I decided to use this for the background and to um, cut it so it looked like little planks in the background. And it gives it a little, like, looks like little wood planks in the background. So anyway, this is what I'm sharing today, so let's get started. So what you're going to need is, this is Thick Whisper White. I guess I'm going to use this side because there's a few little spots on that I didn't see. But it is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you'll need some Scrap Whisper White to stamp your, um, we're going to do it a little bit different. Um, we're not going to use the car this time. I'm going to use an anchor to show you you can use it for different things. So then I took a piece of the Wood Texture Designer Series paper and I cut it to 4 by 5 And then I cut it in strips of 3 quarter inch. So we have 7 pieces here. They're all equal except for this very bottom one. It's, it's a little bit thinner. So that's what we're going to use for the background. And then you do need a piece of chocolate chip. And your piece of chocolate chip is going to be two and a half by four. So that's all you need. And you do need to use your layering. I'm using, not the layering squares, but you can use the layering squares. I'm using the stitch shapes. It just gave, I love the stitching around it. So I decided to use it. But you can use your layering squares if you don't have the stitch shapes. If you don't, I recommend you getting them because <laughs> they are awesome. They're my favorite thing to use. So the stamp set we're using is this Guy Greetings. So I'm going to use this time the anchor and it's I'm going to use the sentiment that says, You're my anchor. And I just love that sentiments. But you can see there's little hats here. There's a pair of shoes, some tools, and then they have the old-fashioned man standing there but it has a lot of sentiments it has congratulations hats off to you and it's got happy birthday and happy father's day world's greatest and I love the car too so that's why I showed the car first so let's go ahead and do our background on here and I'm just gonna use snail I don't have my fast fuse in yet so I'm just going to use the snail. If I had fast fused, I'd use that because it'll hold these down a lot better. So I'm just leaving a little bit of a border. And the, the thing about this is to make sure that they're even. So make sure your edges are even and your little space is even between them. So we're just going to lay them down. And you can you can um, use either side of this. This one is they're pretty similar. I'm looking for the one that has the most like um, texture on it. That looks more real. Which side looks <laughs> more real to me? And then we got two more. Let's see. And then this one little piece here. That one I got off of here. I don't want to mess it up, but I want it even. There we go, that's better. And then this last one here. So 
Okay, so we have our background right there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our chocolate chip. And I'm just going to center it here. And we're ready to stamp our sentiment. So this time I'm using chocolate chip. I'm using the anchor. I love the anchor. I think it's so neat. So I'm going to stamp that and then I'm going to stamp that you are my anchor right underneath it. And then we're going to use the big shot here. I'm using my magnetic platform base plate and I'm using the largest squ stitch square and then we'll run that through I'm really working on getting better at masculine cards I'm not really the best at them, but I thought this one was really cute, and it's very simple. Alright, so there is our, you are my anchor, and we're going to pop that up with some dimensionals. So I'm going to use four on it. And then we're going to be ready to attach it to the card. See how quick and easy this card is? And I love the background. It just looks like little wood planks. And then we'll just attach that to the front. And you can put whatever sentiment you have in the inside. They do have some inside sentiments for this. Did I get that straight? Maybe it's a hair Oh, you know I have to have it right <laughs> I don't know how many of you are like that I have to look at it like this there we go that's much better okay so there you have it here's the two of class it's all the same stamp set so it's really really neat but some of the sentiments for the inside is thanks for this and all the other life lessons you taught me and this says no one else could fill your shoes so you could do the shoes too that's and this one says righty tighty lefty Lucy and it's just really cute this is a great one um, for masculine cards so that is it I hope you enjoyed it um, if you need any supplies you know you can go to my blog and shop directly from my blog at stampingwithamore.com everyone until next time I will see you later have a good one Bye-bye.